Welcome to the Halloween special! Yay! Hello. What could be more scary than bats? Oh, ghosts! Big noses! And the rent! <laughs> or how about Pokemon? They all seem like such friendly faces. Well, let's take a closer look. I'm sure we'll find something truly terrifying. Damn it, Wendy! It's supposed to be spooky scary! I'm gonna be spooky scary with a light! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm when it comes to Pokemonsters, there's no shortage of weird things going on here. And I'm sure you've heard of Hypno abducting children, and, and Drifloom, doing sort of the same thing and then there's and then there's Bonetta who seeks revenge on the child who left it and Duskull who chases kids and then there was this So what I intend to do is go through every Pokedex entry of every Pokemon and find something unique. I mean, it's not like there's going to be hundreds of them and it's going to take forever to go through. <laughs> right? Homer Simpson has to be one of the most beloved of all animated characters. Whoa, 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 hold- th This is wrong. Ah, uh, here it is! Weeping Bell. You all look the same to me. Racist jokes aren't funny. So Weeping Bell might not be the scariest of looking Pokemon, but it doesn't need to be. It's got charm. It's got some dang ass good pickup lines. Better watch a girl. It apparently spits fluid that dissolves everything. That's right, we're talking everything. I'm pretty sure Nokia 3 through 10 would have some the same blood down. But that aside, the scary news comes from another Pokedex entry that when combined with this one, mixed with some truly scary reading. At night, Weeping Bell hangs from trees. It may wake up to find itself on the ground. With a mouthful of acid that can melt anything, walking underneath this Pokemon is not a venture anybody wants to undertake. You get it? <laughs> undertake? Undertake. Also, this thing exists in real life. Except this one waits for a certain breed of squirrel and take a dump inside it. It's Ness. Zatu! Zata Zatu! Yeah. Zatu is an interesting Pokemon. Obviously, she's doing that whole totem pull from those Indians. No, 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 no. The, the other, the yeah, those, but the real reason why it's standing still is a horror worse than death. Zatu stands rooted in one spot all day long. It does so out of fear of the terrible things it has foreseen in the future. It's seen so many horrors, all the swag, all the yellow, and even all those YouTube updates. It wouldn't really be Halloween without a few spiders, and this spot goes to Ariadas. This Pokemon isn't anything truly special, but it's the Pokedex entry that sets it apart from the rest. It attaches silk to its prey and sets it free. Later, it tracks the silk to the prey and its friends. It's like a sort of... No, how did you find me? I thought you weren't real! No! Get to stay back! Leave me alone! Oh god! Oh, oh wow! It's, it's actually quite a small spider. I mean, I was expecting something a lot bigger, you know, with big orange legs. But no, I'm, I'm okay with this. This is, this is reasonable size. Ah! Jesus Christ! They just had to put the friends in there, didn't they? Tell you what, Nintendo, I'll make it better. Why not put its family also dies? Oh, and also Uncle Rick dies. Yeah, so, sorry to anyone who's actually got an Uncle Rick. Shed Ninja. Who would have thought that an empty shell of something that once was could have a soul, right? Get out of here! Well, it doesn't, actually. 
This Pokemon is literally a hollow shell, waiting to be filled. It is said anyone who peers at the hole on its back will have their spirit stolen. So chances are, if you've ever used one of these in battle, you've had your soul stolen and there's no hope for you. No hope for you. Jirachi. Wait a minute. It's cute. There's nothing wrong with this one, right? Well, you know that old saying, with great power comes great responsibility. Jirachi heard that, and they decided to say, fuck it. This Pokemon can grant any wish. It's speculated as to whether the wish needs to be written down on a node and then stuck to its head, or even just said to the Pokemon. But for a whole week, every thousand years, it grants wishes. So you can see what might go wrong here. If you want a life supply of cookies, call Jirachi. You want world peace? Call Jirachi. You want your best friend dead because he stole your girlfriend? Call Jirachi. As if writing something down on a note and then slapping it to a Jirachi. Go one right here would make anything come true. I mean, really. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? No, 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 If you know me, you know what's gonna come up next. Yeah, that's right. Zix! Now, in my previous video, I didn't really explain why she was chosen. And in this video, I'm gonna go a bit deeper. Into why... Like cookies and milk. They just work. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. No, I'm no expert, but this ain't no Pokemon Blue, Red, Yellow. Th this is Zelda! This isn't the place you really want to go back to now, is it, Link? You get it? Because cause you turn into one of those Stalfos. <laughs> I don't think we're going to find any Pokemon. Oh, wait, what's that? It's a, po it's a Pokemon! C catch it! Catch it! Gotta catch them all! Our life's not worth living! <laughs> Phantom. Phantom shares something in common with a character from the Legend of Zelda series. Skull Kid. Both of these characters were originally children who managed to get lost in the woods and die. Their spirits, however, lived on and changed form. Now, I know a lot of the time these Pokemon entries want to scare kids straight, but I think they tried something different here. Now, Billy, if you go into that forest over there, you'll die. That's right, stay next to mommy forever. <laughs> a waste product of the human industry. On a cold, misty night, a pile of sludge lay dormant, when all of a sudden, X rays from the moon transformed the sludge, and thus, Grimer was born. No, no girl's panties were safe ever, ever again. You might think that's something out of a comic. And it could be. The Grimer was a super villain. Oh no! If we look even deeper into Grimer's description, the truth is revealed. Everywhere this Pokemon goes, it leaves the land bare, polluted, and rotten. This would be fine if it wasn't shown in the sewers, and even the water supply, and selling on city! People drink out of this. You there? You, you, you're dead. You're, I wouldn't be surprised if everybody in the Pokemon universe was suffering from a severe case of deadness. In Pokemon XYZ, there were two legendary Pokemon that were added. The life-giving Pokemon and the death Pokemon. Guess which ones made it onto the list? Pikachu! No, 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 it's, it, no, it's Yvetal. It's Yvetal. This Pokemon literally lives on life force. Drawing in your pure life essence when its feathers glow red. Well, I don't know about you, but it seems pretty red to me. I don't think I've ever seen this Pokemon not red. Except when it's bacon. But what really takes the cake is its Pokedex entry. It states it draws in life energy of every living thing. It turns into a cocoon once more. So what you're trying to tell me is this. Is this. This! Is this? So, so what if you do? Don't, don't let it faint. 
<laughs> Letting it faint's not a good idea. Ah, okay. GG. Bye bye. So, what's popular right now? Well, of course, you. You've got such beautiful eyes and that smile. This is beautiful. But enough about you. It's Pokemon time! You know who doesn't have beautiful eyes? Prasikta. Prasikta. It's strange to think that this guy could star in such classics as The Walking Dead or The Last of Us. And let's not get into what constitutes classics, okay? You stick to Super Mario, but I stick to Danky. But why, you might ask? Well, let's take a closer look at the Pokemon. If you didn't know already, Parasect is up here. Not down here. Not a lot going on down here. The spore that attached itself in its previous evolution has now taken over the entire Pokemon, making this guy a living zombie. Now I know what you're thinking. This is, this is stupid, I'm gonna unsubscribe. But hold on there, bucko! Did you know the spore that lives on Parasect actually exists? I'll sit down and listen. Damn straight you will! Try to click that unsubscribe button now, will you? <laughs> There's a real fungus called Ophicardicam- Okay, here it is. I, I'm not even gonna pretend to try to say this correctly. And this fungus attaches itself to foraging ants. Once inside the ant, it grows, taking over the ant completely. Once it has complete control of the host, it then finds a high leaf or plant and bites down on the leaf. From here, there's no use for the ant, so it dies. The fungus douses the forest floor in spores for the cycle to repeat. And according to Parasect's Pokedex entry, the spores are sometimes used in medicine. In China! In China! So it's only a matter of time until it transfers to humans and the zombie apocalypse starts. Fantastic. That pretty much sums up this Halloween special. Just for you, happy Halloween. Good night. <laughs>